program itself. Uh, we, we identify homes in an at-risk neighborhood in the city of Elgin and we go in, we do some cleanup of homes for uh, people that are uh, disadvantaged, whether it's financially, health-wise, or, or uh, uh, age-wise, and they're having problems uh, maintaining their yard. So we go and do a little light cleanup, and as part of this program, we've worked with the city of Elgin the last uh, two years, and coupled this with the city of Elgin's chain link fence program. Now the chain link fence program allows us to go in, uh, we contact the homeowner, and we will remove a fence uh, across the front of a yard and the, uh, the volunteers take the fence, we get a scrapper to come in, haul the fence away, we re-landscape in front of the house and the homeowner gets $500. If we do a corner lot, they would get $1,000. And uh, the uh, chain link fence program in the city of Elgin has been around for over a decade. Uh, it hasn't been extremely successful until the last few years. In the last uh, three years that Elgin Community Network and Neighborhood Housing Services have done this program, we've taken down over 35 fences. This uh, last uh, Saturday was a typical day. We brought in, uh, uh, we did 15 homes that uh, were cleaned up, 11 were chain link fences. $10,000 was injected back into that neighborhood through materials. We brought uh, plants, mulch, uh, as, as well as the uh, chain link fence program. So there's a cash injection, uh, but it's a little bit more than that. As we started to work, people see us out there working, so they come out and start working on their yard. It becomes a little bit of a, a contagious thing for the uh, neighborhood. And the uh, uh, one of the side benefits, uh, I was told a story after the uh, uh, work day, I uh, emailed uh, Vince Cuchetto from our code department. He emailed a story back to me. Uh, they were working with a young fellow that was in uh, community restitution and they give him an opportunity to uh, either work this off or they send him to jail, the county jail, for a few days. Well, they take this opportunity to uh, work it off and uh, he worked with uh, uh, Vince Cochetto and his group and he had kind of a, an attitude problem when he started. Well, the first house they went to was an elderly lady on Raymond Street and uh, they cleaned her yard up and uh, helped her uh, uh, get her flowers arranged and planted some things and put some mulch by her home. At the end of their little, uh, that portion of their morning, she came out and asked them to hold hands uh, in a ring and she blessed them all. And uh, Vince told me that this fellow did a complete turnaround. The next two houses he was excited, he wanted to help people, he wanted to work, and he asked him, uh, do you guys do this frequently because I'd like to come back. So not only can the Neighbor Works program help change a neighborhood and change houses, it can help change people as well.